Today, we're taking you to one of the world's last remaining aquatic paradises. Welcome to Raja Ampat. Can't wait to show you guys what the next five days have in store for us. Also for my 30th birthday. Oh. <laughs> Raja Ampat. Come on. So, to be the last aquatic paradise, you need something to keep this hidden away from the world. And that just so happens to be ocean. Lots and lots of ocean. There's no direct flight here from Bali or Jakarta, and you're likely going to need to spend a night in Makassar, which is exactly what we did. I'm working on one of my favorite edits in a long time. That night, I published one of my favorite videos ever, celebrated turning 30 by myself, well, sorta. I called the people that made me, Ma and Pa, and went to sleep for 15 minutes, and the the next morning, we took a real quick 5 a.m. flight from Makassar to Sorong, where our floating home was waiting for us. Welcome aboard the Calico Jack and Bonnie, a beautiful Finissi ship that is named after a pirate. I'm so excited. She has three guest cabins, a captain's room that comes with a cool captain and a dedicated dive master. Of course, the ship has a massive poop deck, lol, and a ton of other amazing things as we would come to learn while out at sea. But it was time to get going. We had a travel day ahead of us to make it to the promised land. If you thought our travels brought us somewhere remote, we had more to go. Our destination was a remote set of islands known as the YA. This is an area where you rarely see another soul, except for these sweet souls. It's a place where the internet connection no longer reaches. A place so remote, Captain Jamie had to pull out a map. Someone should probably tell him about GPS. And it's a place where, well, you'll just have to wait and see, because we arrive tomorrow morning. lunch at sea and the chef has been preparing us some amazing food. We've got this beautiful like grand dining table at the back of the boat and here comes the food. This is awkward. Happy birthday, <laughs> so apparently being out at sea doesn't mean you have to sacrifice good food because wow I was blown away by what the kitchen was whipping up. So, so good. And it's all natural. We just had some mackerel right from the sea. We had some fresh greens with a bit of feta. I feel like I'm being healthy. Surrounded by nine amazing friends, my 30s were off to a stupid good start. Honestly, one of the greatest gifts of this trip was to be reunited with Saul and Max. The last time we traveled together was in Egypt, like two years ago. This is where the trip truly kicks off. It's not official until we've gone for a little plunge. But hey, oh, the pyramid is back together. Who here can backflip? Tanner, Aliana, can I'll you backflip? I went for the vlog. Yeah. There we go. I would too, but I'm 30, guys. I gotta be careful. You get injured now. It you're lasts good, for good. like years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Saul. With all those muscles, we all expected something a little more. Like if I jump and do that, no one's surprised. But you got a different expectation. Two, one. <laughs> Yeah, you're not really cool anymore when you're 30. <laughs> now first, I wasn't so stoked on the cloudy weather we were sailing through until this happened. Look at that! Wow, there's a double rainbow. That rainbow was literally foreshadowing for the kind of trip that laid ahead. It went from overcast, rainy, gray, kind of a dreary day to the final moments just coming to life. Beautiful sunset, but the best part is that right there. I think one of the largest rainbows I've ever seen in mankind history. And that's a fact. Wow. Last time I saw an arch this big was McDonald's. Maybe I know where the gold is. Where is it? The gold is right here. It's been here all along. Later that night, we had a little birthday celebration. This one felt a little better than my solo 3 a.m. editing party. In the morning, we woke up in the world's last remaining aquatic paradise. Good morning guys. It is our first full day out at sea and we have woken up here to the most beautiful scene that you can possibly come across. After 12 or so hours of chartering this boat, we have arrived at the crown jewel of Raja. This is Waye. Are you waiting for some coffee? Coffee or tea, brother? I will have some coffee. I got barista soul. It's all 
Did you remember to call your mom? There's no service, man. So Jamie's giving me a little bit of an introduction to what we're going to expect. So where, where are we? We've come into the northwest edge of Wyack. Very luckily, there are no other boats. We've got it pristine condition. So this beach over here mm. is going to be our base camp. We're going to set up our little beach barbecue, beer, booze, beach camp. So what you just said might terrify some people. What's about to happen? Uh, normally here, there's a phenomenon where the sharks of the area will come into the boat. They'll hear the gen set and they'll use the boat's shadow as a chance to catch the smaller fish. Every day is a gift, but today, today is different. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are we all feeling? Good, amazing. Yeah. It's been amazing so far. This is only our first morning, and it's such an incredible blessing to wake up in this place and have it all to ourselves. It's like we're the only ones lost in paradise, and yeah. you don't really get that, so we're so lucky. For me, I think the thing I'm most excited about though is the still water. And today we're gonna get probably the top of the visibility. The main thing on my checklist for Rajampat that I'm hoping to see is a bait ball. It's basically when a giant school of fish all come together. I got the underwater housing. We'll be getting some unbelievable shots. Man, I don't associate with snorkelers. What did you see? I see a loser. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> Watch out. One of like my biggest dreams just came true. I saw a giant manta ray and it was the most graceful, beautiful thing in the world. It just hung out with us for like 20 minutes. It was at the feeding station. All the fishies came up to eat around it. It was amazing. I unfortunately didn't have the same experience. My ear is so blocked up today. So I was fighting and fighting with the buoyancy of my dome. Not my favorite dive, but there's many more to come. I'm so glad you had a good one. Yeah, that was magical. How was your dive, Tanner? Oh, it was epic. How was your dive? Amazing. I've never seen a Monterey that big in my life. It was huge. It was like, yeah, not even huge, it was, it was like size. humongous. Guys, it was 12 feet. I was like measuring myself, mm -hmm. and it's 12 feet. Gracias, amigo. Mm. All right, so our first dive done. So with the M Bonnie disappearing in the background, we're now on our way to our private island. And what these guys don't know is the last one to leave the island wins a million dollars. A million IDR, I should rephrase that. Coming for a dollar. Wow. It's so beautiful here. It is picture perfect. This is seriously, I think, officially the most beautiful place on planet Earth. Yeah, it could be. I have called it. You can come look for yourself. Very casual hat you have. Well, I don't think anyone's ever been here before, so we get to name our own beach. What are we gonna call it? We're gonna call it, don't forget to call your mom beach. Yeah, an important lesson and an important reminder to you to subscribe and call your mom. Only one thing left to do. He is so skilled. I see his eyes. Look at his eyes. His little eyes are like. Oh my god. Hello there. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are we doing right now? We are setting off for a workout. We've got the travel trainer with us. We're going to do back, chest, legs, full body, 35 minutes. Okay. And then we can enjoy this beautiful place. No excuses. No excuses. 30 and stronger than ever. Doesn't matter if you're on vacay mode, it's a part of the lifestyle. Anywhere, anytime. Seven weeks ago, I stepped into the gym feeling unconfident. I was a little bit rounder than I'd like. Seven weeks later, I'm feeling pretty damn good. I'm so, so stoked about all the results I've gotten. It's a fairly significant change and it's the product of just a little bit of hard work. This isn't an end, this is just the start. So I'm excited to see where I am in another two months from now and hopefully these things also show up in all other aspects of my life. 
One of the things that I've never been the strongest at is stopping, being still, and appreciating the moment. I'm somebody that typically is always working, working, and because of that, I've never really been one to go out and plan my birthday. I kind of treat it like mostly just another day of the year. There's been a couple birthdays in my life that have really slowed things down, and so far, this has been one of the most incredible birthdays I could have ever dreamed up. We've agreed, this is the most beautiful place we've ever been. 100% hands down. So good, it's even my best birthday ever. I know it's Happy not birthday, my birthday, bro. but it's really Hop on in this birthday. Thank you so much, We're all bro. celebrating it. Yeah, man, it's so good, man. Imagine that, on a private beach one moment, having the top of the top, amazing food, 10 minutes later. Wow. The food on this boat has blown me away. <laughs> now, get this. These crazy black tip sharks will devour any sickly fish, but apparently they don't have an appetite for humans. So a few of us decided to hop off the boat and test that theory out. So far, seems to hold true. Alright, everyone has a good fair share of sunburns, but we're going back out anyways. Max is holding the most valuable resource on the island. What do you got, Max? Woo! SPF 30. <laughs> and nobody else packed any. There's gonna be a mutiny, Max. You might be walking the plank soon. We now separate the leisure travelers from the adventure travelers. Josh, Jenya, and Steven are staying back to hang out on the boat and drink gin, and we're gonna go climb a mountain. Wow. We have arrived. <laughs> We're halfway. It's nice. I like a lot. We have made it. Look at this. We are on top of paradise now. We have become the drone. Wow. Wow. We did that in like 10 minutes, eh? That was easy. Solomon, you know why we climbed this, right? Yeah. Because we got surfs right? over here. Mom? Mom. I love you. Haven't had this much fun since the Shrek movie marathon. Immediately from the hike, right to swimming in the water. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, I've got a pretty terrible sunburn right now. I am sweating so much right now just because my body is overheated. I'll join you in there. End of hike. End of hike, celebrate. Bye. Palm tree is exactly where we hiked up to. That's pretty high up. Heading back to the boat. I've come to a place in my life where the greatest gifts aren't the ones I received, but rather the ones I can give. And bringing these beautiful people to a beautiful place will forever be a highlight in my life. I'm beyond grateful to the day I picked up that camera and pressed record. You never know where it's gonna take you. Guys, they thought of everything on this trip. They've got charcuterie boards, they've got amazing cooking, they make our bedrooms every morning, and now they have gone as far as setting us up with a private night party tonight. Guys, this is incredible. Look, it's a hula hoop. I haven't had hula hooped in like years. That night, we had a feast on a private island. I mean, literally every island in Wyag is a private island, but let me just say, this was a vibe. All right, today I'm dressed up like a shark. I'm going in with a rash guard. The water's like a perfect temperature, but you wanna wear this just in case there's sea lice or little jellies. And uh, we're actually heading back to Kip's Corner. Kip's Corner. This time I've taken a decongestant pill. Hopefully I can get down to the depth needed and get lucky enough to get close to the mantas. I'm still a little devastated from yesterday's dive because they had an up close and personal encounter with the manta. And as we start our day here, Perfect blue skies and surrounded by beautiful sharks. Yo, Sol, what are we doing now? We're going to the lagoon. So we got the joys of group travel. Anytime you need to go somewhere, there's always one person straggling. Usually wait, it's me. Wait, my camera. Now it's Hold Ruby. on. <laughs> Literally on cue. Yeah, this is exactly <laughs> what it's like to travel with a group. See you later. Bye bye. Let's go explore Rajampa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Forgot my uh, Q-tips. No, oh my no, god. No, no.
This is the definition of mood painter. Look at that. It really does feel like these lagoons are endless, guys. I mean, everywhere you look, the most beautiful saturated green and blues. You know, the crazy part is, in Indonesia, no matter where you go, there's trash. There's plastic that's floating in the oceans, and it finds its way all across the country. But somehow, this area must be protected because there's not a single piece of trash to be seen here. It is truly the last remaining aquatic paradise. And our private beach. What is life? This is like your picture perfect white sand spit of land and the first boat we have spotted that is not ours. There's a little tiny catamaran over there. Other than that, we've got dozens if not a hundred plus kilometers of uncharted territory for just us to explore. It's mad. Where else in the world do you get this? What do you think? Unbeatable. Just unbeatable. I have no words. It's a mood fader. It's a mood fader. And the worst, I'll probably forget how beautiful it was in a couple days because it's too good to be true. Pretty skookum. Look at this beach, it's just white sand, it's so perfect. Alright guys, so Max is here currently designing the next Lost Villa. Max, what are we looking at? Alright, let me give you a little tour here. So this is the upper patio. Mm. So as you see, it's built to code. Did you get the permitting? I did get the permitting. It was difficult, but um, they did allow me to build here in Raja, which was really nice of them. Money talks here. He spoke to Mr. Krabs and he was down. Hello, I like money. just witnessed one of the most beautiful scenes in my life. Driving through here on the boat and just complete calm. I hear like an eagle or a hawk just making its sounds in the distance. The water is perfectly calm, the oh sun is out. It's literally it's, insane. It's insane. And uh, yeah, I'm going full Lawrence of Arabia right now because uh, it's hot. And uh, I think my body has seen enough sun to last it a couple weeks. This is the softest sand in the world. Look how deep you sink. Every single step, I feel like I need snowshoes. <laughs> it's hard to even shoot because you've got so many options. Like everywhere you look is the most beautiful view you've ever seen. I feel indecisive on like where to even begin. <laughs> do you mind if we come on board? Oh, I will allow it. How do you afford this? What do you do for a living? Humble We're back on Calico Jacks and Bonnie. Tonight they're setting us up with a barbecue on a private beach. This is the best birthday I've ever had. Alright, we are headed to a beach party. Wow, that looks like Party Island. You've done it again. Show us your special moves, Max. You mean this one? I was <laughs> so You guys can cast your live votes of who you want to see advance to the next round. Comment down below. Text nine to four five four five. Oh, hey! Wow, incredible, guys. They literally loaded this barbecue onto the motorboat and brought it onto this little island. And now we have our living room in the middle of paradise with amazing people. Guys, I'm starting to worry. If things get any better, Saul's not going to be able to go back to the real world. I don't really know what could make this moment any better. It's just like, it's perfection. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to see Raja Ampad with Calico Jack. It's been a dream. The light of the scene is coming from Max right now. <laughs> right now, we just went for a little dip in our boxers and truly so grateful to be surrounded by some of the people I love most. We all agreed. We were actively living out the best moments of our life. I will forever cherish this moment. things of this trip has been the disconnection. We've had no internet for basically the entirety of YAG since getting here. Where we're going this morning, we're going down toward Penamu, and apparently we're gonna soon have internet, but little tiny bars. What we're just saying is like, it's been one of the best things about it. We have zero temptation to be on our phones because there's no internet, but also because we're so present with those around us. I hope they don't add radio towers. It's seriously such an experience. I got goosebumps. You got goosebumps? Yeah, for real. Damn, dude. Made me realize how valuable this present moment is. Saul's still a little sad though, because, you know, with those, those bars, he can't call his mom. Hello? Mm. 
Greetings from London. See? What's sorry. going on sorry here? Sorry for this very weird behavior, Ruby. It's okay. I'm very sorry. So this is what happens when you don't have your phone for more than two days. Maybe we should get back on our phones. Maybe we should get back on our phones. Ooh, look! Shirt! Breakfast is served. Good morning! We are going somewhere very exciting and special. We are going to see sharks. So it's like 40 minutes away from where we were just staying in the bay in Wyag. It's like very, very shallow water, so it'll be completely different than everything we've been doing. Breakfast. This stop is one that I have dreamed of visiting and today we get to go explore that little shallow strip of beach right over there that is infested with these sharks. Did you ever think you would swim with sharks? No, I'm a wrestle and I never have. First time for everything. Holy. Now that, that is like a Gatorade drink right there. Time to do some uh, deep water diving. I've got my kit ready. I'm going in. So the amazing thing about this experience is we had endless oxygen tanks on hand. So anywhere we wanted to dive, we could. And there was a lot to see on this little stretch of coral. has many sunburns. <laughs> so the main part of our trip was spent in Wyag, but guess what? Wyag is not actually the aquatic paradise of Raja. It's actually not even where divers would go. Wyag provides the best above water experience, from the islands to the lagoons. But for the serious marine lovers, our next stop is where you want to go. A few hours sailing through the night, and we had arrived in Penham. Good morning, guys. It is the final full day on the ship. We've commuted or transited about seven hours yesterday from Wayeg to Penamu. Penamu being more of like central Raja Ampat. The main reason we've come here is this right here. This is one of the famed dives here of the area. It's called Melissa's Garden. What makes Melissa's Garden so unique is that there are three islands, and in between these islands, there's a ton of coral larger than football fields. Hello, good morning. 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 I know, we are hoping to see some dolphins today, and some giant turtles, and manta rays. Mm -hmm. Basically just like the kind of Disney movies where like all the fish gather in the same place. It's gonna be magical. This is one of the best places in the world to dive apparently, mm -hmm. in Melissa's garden, so we're pretty fortunate to be able yeah. to do that. Look at, look how high the vibes are right over there. Yeah. Holy, they're, they're, yo, okay, bring the vibes down a little, guys. Jeez. Max. Jeez. I had never seen so much coral in my life. It spanned the area of a football field and each square meter of this coral housed at least a dozen resident fish. This is one of the world's richest underwater ecosystems. Sammy has just brought out breakfast. This is one of the guys that has made this trip so amazing. Like the people who are helping us on this trip have been fantastic. Sammy, Hello. thank you. Thank you. So after two and a half hours of cruising, we have made it to our next stop. But most of all, I want to give you guys a tour of the boat because I haven't really shown you around yet. This is where the magic happens. It's our breakfast, lunch, and dinner spot as well as the stargazing spot. At night, that little cushion area, it hits right. Now just right behind it, I am blown away. You guys cook the best food? Beneath the deck, there are four cabins in total, but one of them's the captain's cabin. There are two right there on the back of the boat. Here's the captain's quarters and right over here is the master bedroom. All done up with a beautiful backlit backboard. And then you've got a couple of efficiently sized beds. Across the three cabins, you can actually sleep like 10 people in total. The cabins are completely cooled with AC. The bathroom, voila. It's all done up nicely with beautiful tiling, some little details, and yeah. There's your toilet. Now I've RV'd before, and in the past I've had to conserve water, which is kind of tough. The cool thing is, because we're on the ocean, there's actually a desalination machine that basically pulls out salt water and allows us to have never-ending fresh water. So yeah, you can take a good shower after swimming in the ocean for the day. So our last little stop of this trip is actually this village here, where there's local people that live, and from what we've just been told, we might be seeing an actual full-size bait ball. We're about to rush down there. Apparently, it's one of the first of our trip and the last stop, and we're very lucky to be seeing this. I guess. 
guess Raja was saving this for us because we got what we came for. The real deal. A full-on bait ball experience. Hey. We did it. We're not we bad. saw a bait ball. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, what are you doing? I'm being forced against my will to jump off the mat. No, this was me and Ruby's idea. All right, so there's no better way to finish this trip off than having somebody else jump off the bow on my back. I'm jumping off, Mom. I'm literally shaking. Tanner is already up there. Mom, my heart is beating a million times per second. How's it look, Ruby? I'm nervous. What are you nervous about? You got this, girl. But life isn't good without any kind of fear, so. There you go. Okay. Mission statement has been received. Give me some support! Go, Ruby! Yes, Ruby! Yes, 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 yes. Come on, Ruby! Three, two, one, go! Oh. Wow! Oh yeah, Ruby! That was amazing, babe. Mission statement babe. received! That was amazing. There you have it. Literally the end of a perfect trip and I can't think of a better way to have celebrated these 30 years. This is one of my favorite trips in my entire life. I really hope that if you love to dive, if you love adventure, that you put Raja Ampat on your list. And I can't think of a better way to do it than with Calico Jack on the Anne Bonnie. <gasps> Again in the next one.